and welcome to another one of Rich and Jen's Adventures. And today we are going to explore the Anchors Down RV Resort in Dandridge, Tennessee. This is located just a little outside Pigeon Forge um, and it's located on beautiful Douglas Lake. Uh, they have a dock here, a, a boat launch, pool. Um, it's a beautiful place so we thought we'd take you on a tour. Rich, are you ready to go? Yeah, I am. Uh, this is a really nice resort. All right, then I say let's go. Let's go. We got the uh, office right up here to the left and the golf cart rental. So when you check in, they do have an express check-in. <clears throat> if you fill the paperwork out ahead of time, they walk right out to your vehicle and give you your map and you just go right on in. All right, here's the event center. They do church here. Nice bathhouse. They have a couple of bathhouses. There is dog park. Oh yeah, look at those dogs. And here's the overflow parking for trailers. Pickleball. Basketball. Oh, I should have got my pickleball rackies out. What is that volleyball net? It's kind of high for pickleball. Yeah, it is. Pickleball's over there and there's yeah, basketball. Tennis sucks. I'm not sure what that is. Small dog area or something. Probably. This is number 26. Now these are the upper level sites where you've really got to have a golf cart or bike. But when you're in this site, you really are getting a really nice lake view. And you got some nice trees up here as well. These are really nice. <clears throat> All right, now let's slow down just a little. Which one? Here's number sixty-five, sixty-four. I want to go up and walk on that buddy site. Um, actually, stop right here. This is the one. Oh my, here we are, number 63. Look at that beauty. There's number 64 next door. And if you get one of these, <clears throat> there's your fire pit instead of a fireplace. But boy, look at the view from your picnic table. Beautiful view all the way. And right down there is a food truck. You can see the green there is a slide to the pool. And then down below the pool area is the boat dock. Gorgeous. I like these big boulders that they brought in. Nice fire pit too. Now here is a really cool buddy site. Um, that would be number 50, let's see, number 56 Seven. and 57. Yep. What a view. <clears throat> and then this is another popular one, number 53. 
we reserve that one for our next trip. And these also have a view. I'm just looking through a little bit more trees. <clears throat> There's their handicapped accessible. There's a 141, 142, 143. And there's our 166. Now, this is a good one, Jen. This is. This is a buddy site, the double sided fireplace. <clears throat> and we're right next door. Look at these fireplaces. Wow. And up. here is a playground, and then there's a pavilion with some fire pits. Normally, the water would be coming up when they fill the lake back up, which they're doing now. We'll come right up to that sandy beach. And then over on the far side where you see the concrete, that is the boat launch. Mm -hmm. You can see the dock is propped up there. Over to the left is the boat ramp, and there's our pontoon floating out there. Yeah. And... Um, just beautifully landscaped, gorgeous location. When the water fills up, all of the red sand that you see on the sides, you will not see anymore. No. And this is part of the Tennessee uh, dam system, so. And here's our camper. <clears throat> yes. in there snugly. Yeah, we had a really nice site. I like the rocks. Yeah. It makes it nice and clean. And here's the other half of, what is that, the buddy system? Yeah, this is the buddy site. Um, this is a fire, beautiful fireplace. Look at that thing. Woo wee. Put your chairs right out here and enjoy. I think I would too. Beautiful single site, number 158. Oh, yeah. And uh, what a view, huh? <laughs> it's also got a uh, fireplace. Mm hmm. Really beautiful. It is nice. Wow. And now if you show the pan over here, they can see where the beach is better and there's volleyball down there. And like I said, now the water will come all the way up to the sand and then there's steps down into the water where the, uh, on the lake when the water comes up. Yeah. And the little green area that you see over there, that's actually a slide. In the summertime, the kids can go up there and slide down into the lake. Super cool. And uh, look at this fireplace over here, Rich. That's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. We're still a little early in the camping season. It's, it's March. Yeah, they're closed here in December and January and February. And today is March the, gosh, 24th. Yeah. We wow. just got a little cold snap. Is this, this is nice. This is big. Yeah, this is gorgeous. And down there is the boat slips. What are we in, number 12? Uh, yes, we're in slip number 12. I would, one thing I'd do a little differently, and we did for the next time we're coming here, we're gonna rent a golf cart. Not that expensive, but that's a lot of walking. If you poles, you tackle, your electronics. Yes, definitely. Uh, the golf cart rentals at this time of recording are $45 a day. So, you know, it's expensive, but it's worth it. Wow. Yeah, if you want to ride around, yeah. put the puppies on there, you know, bring stuff, go down to the you know, fishing pier. Uh, you can bring the golf carts all along these areas where you cannot bring a vehicle. Right. This is a really nice pavilion that's close to the lake swimming. It's got rocking chairs, grills, and uh, bathrooms. Uh, this would be a nice place to get in and out of the sun and have your lunch. Yeah, on a hot summer day, this would be great. If you uh, don't have your boat or you just didn't want to bring your boat, you got a nice dock here just to uh, sit down and enjoy the lake. Well, unfortunately, Rich, it's time to go home. I know, it was quick. <laughs> this is a quick wrap up of our campground review. We think this place is absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, the big thing I would tell you is plan way in advance. Um, this place books up 
like this is 2024, this place is booked up pretty much for 2025. Yeah. So you gotta start planning for 2026. And they only book about 18 months out, so just keep that in mind. Uh, we were on a signature site right now at the time of recording. They're $99 a night, and there are less expensive ones, but it's worth because the view is amazing. It sure is. Uh, beautiful facilities, clean. Um, what did you think about the boat, ramp, uh, boat dock? Uh, it was perfect. Uh, we had a storm come through that no, held the boat just fine. Uh, I do recommend golf carts if you're going to uh, bring your boat because that's a long walk. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you can only drive golf carts all the way down to the dock. But yeah. It's got to be amazing here in the summertime. We have some friends that are coming this summer and we're going to pick them up in the boat. So we might yeah. do a little quick uh, update and add in a few uh, pictures of Maybe. what the yeah, lake looks like in the summertime. So we appreciate you joining us. And if you have any questions, you can always feel free to post a little comment below. If you want to ask about a site, we've been here a few times. so We could probably you know, help you out and let you know if it's a good one or answer some questions for you if you have any. So. Thanks again for uh, joining us on another adventure. And if you haven't, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review. And uh, I guess, Rich, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.